Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly create a custom route on all trails using your mobile device. I'll be using my iPhone 13 and as of July 2025, you will need the all trails peak membership to be able to do this. So from this page in the app, go ahead and select the little saved icon at the bottom of the screen. And on this next page, we're going to click on custom routes and maps. Now, in addition to seeing some of the routes that we've built out before, you'll see another option at the very top of this list that says build custom route. Go ahead and click on that. And the next thing you're going to see is just based on your location, it's going to give you a map. Now, you don't have too many options here other than changing the overlays and that sort of thing. Unlike the desktop app where you can utilize coordinates to really specify where you want the route to begin, you kind of just have to know where you're going and, and zoom in using the pinch to zoom feature um, on the mobile application. So I'm wanting to build out a custom route on Gunstock Mountain for some hill repeats for a race I'm training for. So I'm just going to start zooming into that area. And as you zoom in, you can see you get more detail. If I zoom in a little bit more, you can start to see that road here on the left side, that little white path leading up to the mountain. Now I recommend having the tap feature selected rather than draw, and you'll see why here in a second. So if I zoom in a little bit more, I'm gonna tap where I want my route to begin, near the parking lot here. And if I tap a little bit further up that road, it's gonna auto build out that route for me rather than me having to manually draw that, which is a really helpful feature and makes this really quick and easy to do. As I start to build it out, you can start to see the statistics at the bottom of the screen. It's giving us distance and elevation gain. And then once we get to the top here, uh, which is where I wanna turn around, um, I can pull that menu up and see kind of a little bit more detail on what that elevation gain and distance looks like as I climb up that mountain. So you can see here, if I drag my finger along this line, it's just gonna show me like as I go, what my elevation gain looks like. Now from here, it's quick and easy to just kind of do an out and back route, which I'm gonna do. So what I'll do for that is just click on this little star looking icon at the bottom right hand side of the screen and then select double back. That's basically just going to reverse the exact route that I built up the mountain and then take us back down. You can see that starting point is now split between green and black to represent the start and end of the route. And if I pull up my menu here at the bottom, you can see that it's adjusted the statistics for our distance and my elevation profile is, if I drag my finger along that, it's gonna show us all the way up and then back down as well. So just a real quick and easy way, and this is just a quick example of how to build out a route, a custom route in all trails. Uh, from here, you've got some options um, to rename the route, which I will do. And then after I've done that, I'm just going to click on done and then I'll save my custom route. So you can see that's saved for me. Once it's saved, you have a few options here. If I pull that menu up from the bottom again, you'll see I can change a couple things. So I'm going to adjust this activity from hiking to running and then I'll save that again. And now you can see it's saved into my custom routes and maps section. So I hope this was helpful for everyone. If you've got any questions or suggestions for future videos, please put them in the comments. But I hope you guys have fun out there. See you on the next one.